In the heart of Miami, a new icon is rising. Stretching a thousand feet across Biscayne Boulevard, the Signature Bridge is unlike anything the city or the world has ever built. Designed by the same firm behind the eastern span of the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge, this structure is a landmark in the making, or at least that's what the city is hoping for. With six sweeping arches, some taller than a 30-story building, this is one of the most ambitious bridge projects in the country. But with delays and disruptions as a part of this massive roadway upgrade, some people are now asking if it's all worth it. Today, we're in Miami to break down exactly how and why this bridge is being built. In 1971, Miami finished construction of Interstate 395. At just 1.29 miles long, it played a crucial role in Miami's transportation network. Originally proposed back in 1958, the route was designed to link downtown Miami directly with Miami Beach. Today, it not only serves commuters, but also heavy freight, acting as a critical truck route to the port of Miami. But as Miami grew, so did the pressure on its roads. By the late 1990s, traffic volume had far outpaced the freeway's capacity. Currently, the Midtown Interchange, where these three major roads meet, now seats over 450,000 vehicle trips every single day. In response, Florida transportation officials began evaluating long-term solutions in the early 2000s. After years of study, a major reconstruction effort was announced in 2010. The project would overhaul these three main highways and include a show-stopping feature, a signature span over Biscayne Boulevard. So now, let's head down to Miami and take a closer look at this beast of a bridge. The centerpiece is the stunning Fountain Bridge, set to span 1,025 feet across Northeast 2nd Avenue in Biscayne Boulevard. Designed by Donald MacDonald Architects, the bridge features six sweeping arches, with the tallest arch towering at 330 feet and stretching 650 feet across. The design draws inspiration from Miami's relationship with water, the arches symbolizing a fountain. The bridge deck will offer two 80-foot wide spans, providing ample space for the three lanes of traffic in each direction. The average vertical clearance over Biscayne Boulevard is 27 feet, a significant increase from the structure there today. Enhancing its visual appeal, the bridge will feature programmable LEDs for captivating nighttime light displays. The structural engineering of the fountain uses a cable-stayed system. The roadway deck is supported by twin cast-in-place box girders, which are held up by six arches using high-strength steel stay cables, ranging from 19 to 55 strands per cable. This entire structure is anchored by a central pier, which supports the weight of the arches in the deck while also housing an integrated electrical and structural health monitoring system. The foundation for this pier is massive, requiring around 5,000 cubic yards of concrete and 1.7 million pounds of steel reinforcement. To ensure stability, the foundation system uses over 2,000 auger cast piles, around 3 feet in diameter, which are driven as far as 134 feet deep. And all of this engineering means the bridge should last at a minimum 100 years. The arches are constructed from 345 precast concrete segments, each weighing around 90 tons and designed with unique angular shapes due to the elliptical geometry of the arches. The reconstructed I-395 will expand to three lanes in each direction, a 50% increase in capacity from the original two lanes. To ease congestion and improve traffic flow at the Midtown Interchange, new connector ramps will be added for traffic heading to I-95 and Biscayne Boulevard. The eastbound off-ramps at Northeast 2nd Avenue will be relocated to North Miami Avenue, while the westbound entrance ramps at Northeast 1st Avenue will also be shifted westward to North Miami Avenue. To minimize disruption during construction, the project is being carried out in phases. First, the westbound roadway, including four of the six arches, will be completed and open to traffic. This will be followed by the eastbound section with the remaining two arches. Keeping traffic flowing throughout construction has been a major challenge, with critical work and heavy material transport taking place mainly at night. The entire project, branded as Connecting Miami, is a collaboration between the Florida Department of Transportation and the Miami-Dade Expressway Authority. While the focus is on the I-395 extension, the project also includes major improvements to a 1.4-mile stretch of State Road 836 and the replacement of concrete pavement along a 1.6-mile section of I-95. 836 improvements start at Northwest 17th Avenue and extend to the Midtown Interchange. The upper deck of this double-decked section will provide a direct two-lane connection in each direction, bypassing the I-95 interchange and local access points. The existing 836 roadway will be repurposed to a collector distributor system to better manage traffic between local roads and I-95, reducing weaving and enhancing safety. Specialized equipment, like this colossal 488-foot gantry, is used to erect beams and pier caps for the 836 viaduct. 
As part of the project, and as I quickly mentioned before, concrete pavement on both the north and southbound lanes of I-95 will be completely replaced from 8th to 29th Street. All of this work also aims to address operational and geometric deficiencies, eliminating left-hand entrance and exit ramps, and reducing weaving movements at the Midtown Interchange. And one of the anticipated benefits is a reduction in hurricane evacuation times for Miami Beach, which was a pretty big deal. But with all this work, there's bound to be a lot happening behind the scenes. One of the more obvious questions is, why not just build a standard bridge? To answer that, we need to look at the numbers. The entire project, including the bridge and surrounding road improvements, was originally budgeted at $802 million. That figure has since grown to $840 million. If we assume the cost increase is spread evenly, the I-395 portion comes in at roughly $582 million. Most of that is going toward the bridge itself, with the rest covering the roadway. So it's fair to estimate that the bridge alone could cost around $400 million. That may sound low, especially compared to other high-profile bridge projects across the US. But it could have been even lower. If they had gone with a more conventional design, like a standard segmental box girder bridge, the cost might have been a couple hundred million dollars less. But they were willing to spend more for what they saw as an investment in the city's identity. The goal wasn't just to build a bridge, it was to create a landmark. Something that, in time, could be as closely associated with Miami as the Golden Gate Bridges with San Francisco or the Gateway Arches with St. Louis. Will it ever reach that level of global recognition? Probably not. But seeing the structure in person, there's no denying. It's far more striking and thought-provoking than a conventional bridge. The elevated design of the rebuilt I-395 allows for the creation of a new 33-acre public space beneath the highway, known as the Underdeck or Heritage Trail. This mile-long corridor is intended to reconnect Overtown and Downtown Miami, two communities separated by the original highway construction in the 1960s. Designed as a shared-use path, the Heritage Trail will support walking and biking, and will be lined with landscaping, water features, an amphitheater, and much more. Beyond its recreational benefits, the project is part of a broader effort to support economic growth in Overtown, a community that's faced decades of disinvestment. Earlier, I mentioned the project's cost, so let's break down who's funding what. Keep in mind that these figures are based on the original estimate of $802 million, before the adjustment to 840, so they will probably vary slightly. The state is covering $556 million for the I-395 reconstruction, the State Road 836 westbound connector, and the pavement reconstruction of I-95. Meanwhile, the Miami-Dade Expressway Authority is contributing $186 million toward the overall improvements to 836. Despite the anticipated benefits, the I-395 Signature Bridge project has faced its share of criticism and challenges. The ongoing construction has caused significant traffic disruptions on all three roads, leading to frustration among commuters. Some critics argue that the funds would be better spent on upgrading rail infrastructure in the area, rather than further promoting car dependency and increasing demand for more roadways. Construction began in early 2019, with full completion now projected for late 2027. And if you're in the area and you're wondering why the project is taking so long, you're not alone. Originally expected to wrap up in 2024 or 2025, delays have been largely due to global supply chain issues, with some components and materials taking up to 36 weeks to arrive. As a result, these delays have continuously pushed back the project timeline. Still, when it's finally complete, this ambitious project will stand as a bold new symbol of Miami, uniting engineering, design, and community into one sweeping skyline-defining statement. So we've seen the complexity behind building something big. Now here's something simple, protecting your online life with just one click. Surfshark is a VPN, a virtual private network. It encrypts everything you do online and hides your IP address, so your browsing stays private, your data stays safe, and your connection stays yours. Whether you're working from a cafe, editing in a hotel, or just scrolling at the airport, public Wi-Fi can leave your devices wide open to anyone watching. With Surfshark, your connection is locked down and secured instantly. It also helps you get around price discrimination. Flights, hotels, rental cars, websites change prices based on where you are or how often you've checked. With Surfshark, you can switch your virtual location and find better deals. And unlike a lot of other VPNs, Surfshark lets you use one account across unlimited devices. Phone, laptop, tablet, smart TV, everything's covered. Plus, they have a strict no-logs policy, which means they don't track what you do online. Ever. Try it for yourself. Go to surfshark.com slash buildcore or use code buildcore at checkout to get an extra four months free. And if it's not for you, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. 
support the channel, and protect your privacy. I'll see you in the next one.